Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ajawi TV. I'm Ajawi and for today, we'll be conducting a measured yeah. survey in Runaway Bay, St. Anne. Now this is a hotel that um, an architect asked us to do a measured survey for. So myself and my team went down to do this particular survey. Now the first thing that we normally do on any site that we go to is take, take pictures and also to take videos. Now, these videos are very important. The pictures and videos are very important, so make sure that you do that. The um, reason why we take it is because you want to capture everything that is possible on the site. And we won't be able to sketch every single thing on that particular site. Now, in certain instances, there are, there are critical information that we might have missed. And as a result, we take pictures so that we can go back to the pictures to reference. And if there's anything that we missed, we, we might be able to pick up um, said information within um, the, the preparation of the drawings to send to the architect. And for this particular survey, I'm glad that I actually took pictures and took videos because they actually helped a lot. Um, now, as I go along, you might see me um, sketching. Now that's the actual process that I use to conduct this this particular uh, measured survey. There's another method which is video imaging or, or um, 3D imaging of the site um, that we actually offer but for this particular site we did not do that right so as you go along you see me turning my back towards um, the area that I'm sketching now this is to reference myself um, but yeah I t I take I turn my back to wherever I'm, I'm measuring at, at times or wherever I'm sketching this is a method that I normally use to reference whatever I'm doing I like to turn the book in the direction of, of the actual property and that will help me to ensure that I'm taking the right information now not, not an accurate information um, you don't miss anything um, sometimes what I will also do is right now this guy is is, is, is um, taking videos of himself uh, <laughs> he's my team member so you know it's good that he, he you know includes himself so I'll turn the book turn the book to ensure that hey am I facing the right direction where's north where's south you know just to ensure that you know I get necessary information but without any further ado I wanted you to actually hear this particular part of the video because um, this was the most difficult part it's on the property is on a slope and as a result of that it was very difficult so let's go back to the video audio On the survey, and it's, it's by far the most difficult survey I've ever done. Why? Um, one is not nothing is straight. There are some ears are straight, but as you can see, there's a lot of angles that I need to pick up. Right. Also, the property is sloping, so in order, you know, in addition to picking up the the um the dis the distances. Right? I have to bear in mind that everything is actually on a slope um, and then those slopes are actually turning in different directions so that is that is um, what is causing the difficulty and it's taking a long time to come through. This is just a simple walkway and I've done buildings that are way larger than this and the, the simple fact that it is not a level surface is, is what is causing this to take me so much time to complete, all right? So, in, in, in executing this particular job, I have to use the triangular method to complete the job, right? What's the triangular method? The triangular method is where, if say for example, I'm taking this distance, right? To get, the, to get this. I would take a measurement from this corner to there, and from this corner to here. And then I go over to this side and then I take another, a measurement from this corner to there, this corner to there. What I'm trying to do is to create a triangle, right? That triangle from there, I will get, 
I will get this length. But in order to check the length and make sure that it is at the right angle, I then create another triangle here. Right? So that triangle now helps me to check to ensure that everything is at the right angle and ensure that everything is lined up and the distances are correct because I want a slope taking measurements on a slope versus horizontally is very different because once it's on a slope the, the, the length increase once it's horizontal it, it decreases right so that is the whole whole thing with taking this actual measurement all right so that's it for today